Hi, my name is Brandon Wilkers and I'll be your instructor for this video. Taking this online class will benefit the Sales and Service Cloud. It will give an overview of the standard Salesforce.com sales and service processes and how to customize it for business needs. In our online class, you'll learn about field types, object types, field level security, customizing page layouts, knowing about reports and dashboards, applying validation rules, what workflow rules are, and what approval processes are. In this tutorial, you'll be adding a new custom field. Here we're starting off at one of our leads, which is one of the easiest ways to navigate into the back end to add a custom field. First, we'll click on the Flyout menu and hover over View Fields, and then click on Add New Field. Now you're at a list of all your available data types. We'll select Pick List and click Next. Here we could enter our custom field data. We'll select the field label and enter trade shows. Now enter a listing of all your trade shows. I just happen to have my list copied to my clipboard. You could also choose to set the pick list to be viewed in alphabetical order or use the first value as a default value. If you don't check one of the other boxes, the list will be displayed as you enter it with a default of none for your value. The field name is automatically generated from the field label, but you could always customize it if need be. Just remember there are no spaces, use underscores. The description helps other admins understand the purpose of this custom field. Or, if you have similar custom fields with different purposes, the description box can help you differentiate them. The help text box is great for giving your users helpful information on a selected field. You can display an example of formatting or a brief description for better understanding of the purpose of the field. It is a best practice to have help text for recently added fields to a page layout and to remove older self-explanatory help text. Let's save this custom field. The default lead layout is already checked, but you could add this field to multiple layouts if available. Let's save our custom field. Now let's go into the page layout settings from the menu on the left. Here we can select which profiles the recently created custom field will be displayed. By default, it will be the last field in the first section of your layout. We could then hover over the field and then click on the delete icon, then scroll down to the lead source panel, then we'll go up to the quick find in the menu bar and type in trade show, and we'll select our field. Now we could just drag it down to where we want to place it. Now click save. You can now go back into your original lead and then scroll down into the lead source panel to see your new custom field.